This is Twit. DEF CON? DEF CON? Anybody at DEF CON? Do you ever go to DEF CON? I have wanted to go to DEF CON so much. You may not be allowed. I just leave all as, my phones at home. As the chief of the U.S. Digital Service, Matt Cuts. <laughs> Actually, the FBI goes. So can I tell you that we have a team at the Defense Digital Service, which is our wing over at the Pentagon, and they are sending folks, and we're doing a hackathon, like a literal hackathon, oh, nice. a bug bounty, uh, called Hack the Marines. So, yes, that's right. They it's, did hack the Navy. They done this hacked, a they huge done hacked the Army, hacked the Navy. So yeah. this is their sixth bug bounty. They had never... <laughs> The federal government had never done a bug bounty before 2016 when the U.S. Digital Service did hack the Pentagon. So that was you. Well, it wasn't. I did the. I helped with the second one. But, nice. But yes, the U.S. Digital Service helped with that. And yeah, that's what I mean by yeah, you. Right. The collective you. You yes. didn't bring like uh, all the Ethernet cable. There was in. a wonderful person named Lisa who was really the <laughs> driver did. on that. Yeah. Uh, but it's pretty incredible because everybody was incredibly scared of doing this. It turns out bug bounties have been done since 1995 with Netscape, so it's not really scary. They've turned the crank so many times that now people are like, ooh, 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 can you test our system out? There so, was, I remember that when the first hack the Pentagon happened, there was a lot. Of, Congress was like, what? Yeah, what is, what's going on here? It doesn't seem like a good idea. And the word <laughs> hack is so loaded now. Well, yeah. the story yeah. is somebody was like, well, you can, all right, you can do your bug bounty, but you can't call it, hack. you know, like hack the Pentagon. Right. And then the guy at the Pentagon was like, oh, we're totally calling it hack the Pentagon. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, we, are, the guy there likes to pick fights and win fights. And, and, and it's he, also great marketing. It's frankly. really yeah. good marketing. Gets so, people's attention. So they're literally doing hack the Marines with over 50 different Marines dot huge. mill websites That's at DEF CON. Now, now tell us for people who are saying, well, why would you want to do that? What is the benefit of this kind of thing? So, I mean, first off, you can earn money. Like, money mm -hmm. is cool. You can help secure... If you're good at this, you could. Yes. You have to be good at it. So, we there is a there is a person who just graduated high school. His uh. name is Jack Cable. He's going to Stanford in the fall. He's one of the top, like, in the top five, according to Hacker One of all the hackers. He's doing an internship with DDS and finding all these security holes. And the point is, now this person is doing it because they just want to, like, improve the security of websites so that bad people don't get in, bad actors don't get in. So it's a win across the board. You get better security at a cheaper price, industry best standard, you know, just it's it's the right way to do it. I love this tweet from the Defense Digital Service. Excited to have Jack H. Cable come join the Rebel Alliance <laughs> at DDS <laughs> in just a couple of weeks. He's still going to Stanford, but he's going to work with DDS. Yeah, he's been here over the summer. And so cool. It's really great. That and, is uh, so, yeah, so Hacker One is one of the companies that runs the responsible disclosure programs for a lot of yeah. companies. I think they do uh, GMs, General Motors, uh, yeah. bug, bounty, bug Bounty Program, yeah. and their Bug Crowd so, is another so one. So right. the benefit, I understand to Jack Cable what the benefit is. What's mm -hmm. the benefit to the Marines or the Pentagon or, uh, or GM? Why would they want somebody to hack them? Your systems get more secure, but... Previously, people would pay for penetration testing, right? And they were paying something like $13,000 for every security vulnerability that they found. Hack the Pentagon, the cost went to $1,086. Wow. So an order of magnitude cheaper. You find more security holes. You fix them faster. The white hats find them instead of the black hats. Like, it's it's just across the board a great idea. It's a win all around. Yeah. Better, faster, cheaper. Interesting. Nice.